Hi, Dave Forrest here, uh, full52.com. Uh, another quick update video for you. Uh, these are exciting times, I've got to say. We're uh, um, one, two thirds of the way through the campaign uh, of a 30 day campaign. There are 10 days left, so one third of the time to go. Um, and we are currently 86% funded. So a mere 14% left to go. Uh, which is great news. Uh, we're obviously quite far ahead of the curve now um, in terms of staying on track with the remaining time and how much um, funding is still to be uh, uh, collected or pledged. Um, so wonderful, just great news. And uh, thank you all again. That I know that I'm speaking to new pledgers now and to you all, I thank you uh, from the bottom of my big fat Scottish heart. <laughs> So I'm getting a lot of emails uh, and uh, actual messages on the on the campaign uh, page regarding a close-up mat. Uh, people asking if a close-up mat is included. Now, a, a large, ordinary size close-up mat is not included because it's not going to fit in the box and I need to ship it separately. And apart from anything else, it's just a standard close-up mat. They're really cheap and you can get them. They're easily attainable, you know, worldwide. But I think specifically what people are asking is that in the original Cubism set that was just the chalk cup on its own, it came with a little close-up mat. Is that going to be included? It never occurred to me, I've got to be honest, uh, because I wasn't thinking about this as a one cup set, I'm thinking about three cups. And But of course, the fact that it comes, you might just want to take the chalk cup out and go around tables with just that cup, in which case you will need that little mat. And while I hadn't factored it in, I've done a few sums and I'm very pleased uh, to tell you now that as well as your cups and your uh, dice and all that stuff here, I will now be including the little custom made 10 centimeter, I hope you can see it on the red there, little 10 centimeter close up mat will now be included with every set of cubism. Um, so if you've already uh, pledged, you're going to find your little uh, custom mat for the, for the chop cup uh, included. So um, I'm delighted to be able to add on. I should have thought of it myself, hands up. Uh, but you talked and I listened and uh, you're absolutely right. It should come with that little close up mat. And so now Cubism Maestro also includes the custom made chop cup, 10 centimetre close up mat. So just one more quick thing. I say quick, uh, but I actually go on quite a bit in this next little section. <laughs> I recorded it, I recorded it earlier, but um, I get, I'm getting a lot of emails about fruit, right? Can I put fruit loads in? Now, you may have already seen the video for uh, Three Dice where the final production is a lime. Uh, but people are asking about lemons because lemon is a, a quite, a, quite a popular fruit. Anyway, I, I'm going on here when I talk about it more in a second. So here's a short, uh, what should we say? Uh, uh, a short sort of um, discussion, <laughs> let's say, on the types of fruit and sizes of fruit and stuff that will fit inside the Cubism Maestro cups. So I went and bought some fruit <laughs> to see what fits and what doesn't. Lemon being the most popular choice and you know buying this fruit it sort of got me thinking as to why did it become a thing that magicians load into cups at the end. And I really don't know, the only thing I can imagine is that perhaps because chop cups quite popular with bar workers and maybe they're to hand for bar workers and you know, it's something they can grab and, and load in the cup quite easily. I mean, other than the fact, obviously, that it's a surprising sort of off the wall. It's nothing to do but presentationally with the little, uh, the little tread, red crochet balls and stuff. So I'm not really sure how it came to be that we stuff all this fruit in the cups at the end. But the bar worker would be my best guess. Anyway, that's an aside. Um, the lemon, this lemon, I only, I live in a small town in England. And uh, we've only got one shop and it had a few lemons in it so this was the smallest one I could find and it doesn't quite fit in the cubism cup uh, however I would say that that is a sort of an average size lemon and it is my um, firm belief that if I went to a larger supermarket um, and uh, looked for a smaller one I could easily I would think find a smaller lemon that would fit inside the cup so I suppose my word on the lemon is if it's really important to you, yes, you will be able to find one, uh, a lemon to fit, 
but you're going to have to find it specifically. It's not going to be a matter of just grabbing any lemon and good to go. So if the lemon is important, yeah, but the consideration is you need to, you're going to have to check the size. Um, but if it's not important to you that it be a lemon, then lots of other fruit fit. Here is a lime, which I think has the same impact, at least as a lemon. Uh, great colour, the green at the end. If, uh, you know, It's the colour of the lemon, I think, is what's um, attractive about it as a final load. I don't think the lime loses anything in that regard, and it slots right in there, no problem whatsoever. Then, uh, of course, not an orange, but uh, this is a tangerine or a clementine or any one of the smaller variety of oranges, you know, in there, easy really easy load uh, the little little oranges you know and again great color maybe not against this surface but uh, most of the time um, kiwi fruit carol cloutier uh, has a famous routine where the bill ends up inside uh, the kiwi fruit so thinking ahead about that of course a kiwi fruit fits in there no problem perhaps you're combining your uh, bill to kiwi with some kind of cup load at the end again i'm just thinking off the top of my head uh, that all goes in and I even found a little apple um, that fits inside the cup if you wanted to do a little production of an apple at the end. Now I'm sure this all seems relatively redundant but I did sort of want to find out for myself um, and I think the bottom line is that you know lemon being the most popular doesn't quite fit. There are lots of different options um, uh, however and even the lemon I think if you look hard enough, and you won't have to look that hard because like I say, that's not a particularly small lemon, you will be able to find one that fits. And finally uh, on the lemon, I do have here something that's in the shops at the moment and somebody gave me a great line for this and I really forget what it was, but you get these little um, squeezy uh, bottles of lemon and it's a shame they used to come with a little green plastic leaf as well and it really looked good. And uh, I think that that, is, I would probably get rid of that label. Uh, if I was to use this, but of course that will fit in there like a glove and I'm sure there's some sort of hilarious line as to why you're producing <laughs> the, the plastic uh, little lemon bottle there, uh, but what, what that line is I think is going to be up to you. So there is a quick word on final loads in regards to fruit for the cubism cups. Well that's all for now, um, it's been a short update I know, we're so close, <laughs> I can almost taste it, alright. 10 days to go, one third of the campaign left and 86% funded. We are definitely on track. I know I'm stressing it a lot. If you can find it at uh, the time just to click and share and go on Facebook and Twitter and share it because that's what's doing it. I can assure you the surges that we're having in, say, in, in pledges, that's what's doing it. It's people like you who have pledged going and sharing with their friends the fact that there's this cool set available and I've pledged for it and we'll, and people are uh, uh, doing likewise. So that's it for now. Um, uh, thank you all again. Thank you to everyone uh, involved, including my lovely partner, Chloe, who will be delighted that I've worn my uh, cardigan here on camera. She doesn't think I should leave the house with it on, <laughs> but it's comfortable, so there I am. All right, <laughs> cardigans aside, um, thanks again. Another update video coming soon featuring more tricks, more uh, effects. Um, that's all for now. Uh, I'm Dave Forrest. I'll see you again really soon. Bye.